journey to the Great White North begins. Got through Augusta security in a whopping five minutes. It's one of the perks. Airplane tradition of Biscoff cookies and apple juice. Every flight, every time. is falling apart. Oh, yeah. Only one thing I can order in New York City. We're in Canada. We're in Montreal. We both arrived. We did. Separately, but we're here. We're on a bus. And someone in Canada has already done something friendly for us. I was given a free bus ticket for two days, so mm -hmm. Canadians were friendly. We knew that. They proved it. Looking at the stereotypes already. Now we're going to our hotel. Mm -hmm. Pay phones in Canada and people are using them. This is our hotel. It's so quaint. It smells like Paris. There are people yelling at each other in French like in Paris. There are beautiful back alley apartments like in Paris. And all the buildings are kind of old, but also you kind of think they married to look that way a little bit. And we're on Notre Dame Street. Yeah. Rue de Notre Dame. Exactly. We're at a pretty chill bar on our first night here. Even in French Canada, I managed to find a cider, and Bradley's drinking something Japanese. Yeah. Downtown to Chinatown. It's raining. Of course, on the first night of the trip, the meteorologist gets caught in the rain and now we're under an overhang as it pours. Thanks a lot, we're already, Micah. We're already really wet. Wet we are, but we were in a downpour. You can see my hair. It's all Bradley's hair too. I'm very shiny. <laughs> the Olympic Stadium right here, the largest slanted building in the world. Eat your heart out, Leaning Tower of Pisa. While people back in the south are dealing with 100 degree highs, we're sitting here walking through Montreal this morning and it's like 55 degrees and it's glorious. Here is the classic Canadian beaver. Oh, that's an now we have the Jacques Cousteau look at the underwater beaver in Montreal, French Canada. Look at him glad that the water his oily fur keeping him from getting wet. And then ugly smirk. The smirk on his face, taunting us Americans, watching him swim, and not even building a damn dam. We're at the ant exhibit. Bradley doesn't want to get close because he doesn't like bugs here at the insectarium. But I love bugs, they're pretty sweet. We stumbled upon some sort of rave in the insectarium. Bow chicka wow wow. Bugs making love. At the Japanese garden, there's an art exhibit here in dedication to the atomic bombing during World War II at Hiroshima. This entire exhibit is very, very sobering. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. The exhibit was like terrifying and scary, so it's nice to look here at a 105 year old bonsai tree. Take a little piece and hopefully never have to see something like that in war again because that was just sobering and awful to look at those paintings and read those stories. A little real talk here during vacation. This bonsai tree is supposedly 270 years old. Talk about an old little tree. Absolutely beautiful day here in the Japanese garden. If there were more mountains, this would be the sound of music. There's no hills to be alive. Avec un sac rempli de météorites, le téléphone arabe a fait son travail. I don't Et understand ils ont... anything. You can't see very well, but we're in a planetarium and we're on bean bags. So there's bean bags all around us, and then you look up for the planetarium show. It's nuts. Some authentic poutine up close and personal. Another authentic dish for Bradley, and we're on a pretty ballin', hip little street here with all sorts of restaurants and people. Montreal's pretty sweet.
saw my favorite player of all time, Didier Drogba, wearing the jersey here at the Impact game. Finally saw him in person. This is so awesome. the Mary Queen of the World Cathedral in Montreal. Continuing our tour of cathedrals, this is St. Patrick's Cathedral in Montreal. Religion and technology have finally morphed to push button prayer candles where you press the buttons on the top or down here for your prayer candle. We have the saints, the big time Bible ones like Thomas, James, Paul, John, and then we have Saint or Blessed guy in a suit. It's probably for wearing that sweet suit. The grand finale of our triple cathedral tour is Notre Dame du Montreal. Mm, gelato. A maple museum because Canada. Maple, 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 maple. We found some really weird murals, and Bradley's getting pretty excited about them. Happy hour at an Irish pub? Why not? I hate to break it to Canadians, but Indiana is not Western. Not Western at all. Just a Thursday night dinner in Montreal. We happened on an outdoor party. Montreal is crazy sometimes. We're in a French Canadian grocery store. Classical music is playing, weird tricycle shopping carts, and all sorts of weird named products. Off the max. We're taking a little scenic hike. That's Bradley. We're headed up Mont Royal. It's a pretty scenic walk. Welcome to the top of Mont Royal in Montreal. It's quite the view. Downtown Montreal into exploring McGill University. One of the few places on the town where there's lots of English speaking people. Yeah, short course in cloud physics, meteorology today. I guess I can come here and teach. You've got a T-Rex. Brendan Fraser totally said I could open these and there would be zero problems. I found an excerpt from the Book of the Dead. I'm gonna start reading this and assume zero things will happen to the three mummies on the other side of the room. On the building for atmospheric sciences. I can teach here for reals. Tim Hortons Canadian Heaven. That should be their new theme song. We're north of the wall and we found the Night's Watch or something similar. We're here to resurrect Jon Snow. Hashtag spoiler alert. We found the Google. This is amazing. Look how many people are stopping to watch giant chess. And there's a bunch of other matches going on down the way. We're eating Vietnamese food kind of late at night because I fell asleep and Bradley met a bunch of cool people. I don't know why that got sing-songy, but here's some Vietnamese food win. It's been a somewhat crazy evening. I accidentally slept for two hours. When I woke up, Bradley had made friends with everybody in our hostel, evidently. Then we grabbed Vietnamese food. A gay guy hit on me and I had to be like, sorry bro, I like the ladies. And then we came back and hung out at our hostel with all our new friends from Canada, Pittsburgh, Atlanta, Scotland, Australia, and all over the place. This has definitely been eventful. Let's go to the mall today. Where's Robin Sparkles? One of the two most famous bagel places in Montreal. The other most famous bagel place in Montreal. We found some sort of rodent here in a gravesite. We don't know what this is. It may be a beaver. So maybe a woodchuck? Is that a woodchuck? 
<laughs> what are you? Don't attack me. I don't know what this is. Here we are at St. Joseph's Oratory. It is very large. Pretty impressive. This is the main basilica on top of St. Joseph's. Let's be real. This sounds like a boss battle in a video game is about to go down. We're in this big empty room, the organ music. It's a little eerie. Hook it up, urbanlogics at gmail.com if you want to log on. Sombra Music Movie, you should check it all, y'all. It's like a sadder environmental version of Epcot. Bradley and I found a museum where we get to do homework like we're students again. <laughs> now we're in an exhibit with fashion made of garbage. Saving the earth one dress at a time. Now we can hear music in these hair dryers. And then we can turn and watch a hair dress and some sort of video that goes along with it. This is a little weird. A view from the most boring environmental museum in the world. We finally found a use for Bradley. Generating power as a hamster. About to watch a presentation on cyclones and they have no idea that I'm a meteorologist. Okay, the cyclone video presentation, the girl tried her best and did a mostly good job of being accurate, so I was very nice. I didn't interrupt and I told her afterwards she did a good job. The Museum of Fine Arts. Picasso isn't weird at all. Salvador Dali is weirder. Yep, those are her fingers and toes. My absolute favorite artist, Claude Monet. Impressionist, where it looks messy up close. Let me take a few steps back. Perfect. Chimpo go mine. Shoo! We're going with Ethiopian food tonight. You share it, you eat it with a rolled up dough. Our African expert here recommends it and is going to tell me how it works. Okay, America, these are the greatest things in the entire world. You punch in how much it is, the server brings it to your table, you can put in your tip, percentage, or cash-wise. Everybody needs to get one of these in America. In case you didn't know, all we do is walk, then... Some more. We've walked like at least like 20 or 30 miles this week plus subway for a whole lot. It's nice. Public transit's good plus exercise. We're at the Science Center where they have a video game exhibit of past and future video games. You get to basically play all these games from Atari through arcade up through Xbox. This is like the coolest thing we've ever found. It wouldn't be video game nostalgia unless I destroyed some people at Halo 3. Take a look at those scores. We got Bradley trying out the Oculus Rift virtual reality simulator. It's pretty nuts. It makes you feel dizzy. It was really cool. Well, if I'm in a French-speaking country, I should probably have at least one baguette. We're trekking through the underground city for when it's winter, it's super cold outside and no one wants to be out there. But during the summer, it's super empty and it feels like an apocalypse movie. Yeah. We're at a restaurant where they not only recommend drinks for you and food for you, but games for you to play. This one is like chess with bugs. Bradley's a master. Yeah. Maybe not so much. Taking the train to Ottawa. It's a beautiful, dreary day in the capital of Ottawa, and we're following our always trusty strategy of look for big, fancy buildings and walk towards them. Canada's IRS is in a sweet castle. Ottawa is pretty fancy, eh? Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. Eat your heart out, Big Ben. 
Canada's Parliament's got a huge clock too. And some other fancy buildings. Are we waiting in line for a sweet roller coaster? No, we're waiting in line for free tickets to tour Parliament. The House of Commons here on our tour. Where Bradley and I are the only two Americans. The library was supposed to stay very quiet, but these iron doors right here kept it from burning down. Entering the Senate. Here's a nice view of the backside of Parliament and along the river. The Notre Dames just keep on coming. This one's the shiniest. It's gonna be called Notre Dame, it's always gonna look good. We're hit the Royal Mint of Canada. We assume they give out free samples. This is our third time getting gelato. America, get on this train. Our 5 a.m. walk to catch a bus, to catch a train back to Montreal, that I eventually can catch a bus to catch a plane to get back home. Getting back to Montreal from Ottawa almost feels like coming home because we kind of know where we're going. One last Tim Horton stop before we leave, back to the land of no Tim Hortons. All right, Bradley, trip is coming to a close. What are your thoughts on Montreal? It's a fun city. It's like an alternate universe version of the US where everyone speaks French, which I'm okay with. And it's just a really nice city to walk around, easy to get around through the subway or just walking random places. Uh, we'll totally come here again. I would work with Miguel if I had the chance if they the would the have the honor of having me. The the yep. What about you, Micah? Well, Bradley, I thought Montreal was pretty awesome. It was a great city. There's so much to do. We walked for days and days and days, literally miles. We took the subway everywhere. There's constantly a new neighborhood we were discovering. Uh, there was just a lot of really cool stuff to do. The food is fantastic. So many great restaurants. Second most restaurants per capita uh, in North America after New York. And we felt that, I mean, there were so many places to eat. Uh, I can't say enough. The women were off the charts. The beautiful ladies all around. I cannot complain about that, can I? Uh, but so many cool things to do here. Uh, not being able to speak French didn't hurt. Um, plenty of people spoke English. And we were able to get around and have a really great time. Uh, so, great all-in-all -all trip. I recommend anybody going to Montreal. I'm sad to go home because the weather here is still like a high of 75 and it's going to be blazing hot in Georgia and I'm not looking forward to that. Otherwise, it'll be nice to sleep in my own bed. So, awesome trip all-in-all. All. Can't wait for the next one.